Thank you, nurse. What are we making next? Let's make some food. Hey, it's Jason with Dads That Cook. We've got an awesome episode today. I got Chef Tom Fisher. He's in this happy little chef coat that we just gave him. And he's gonna share some incredible food with us today. I've been fired up about this one. Explain to the people what it is you're gonna make today. What are you making? Tell me all about it. We'll Tell them. Starter, we're gonna go with some shishito peppers. And then the main course is going to be a double thick centerloin pork chop served on a bed of mashed parsnips and sweet potatoes with thyme. Yum. And then the side is going to be some roasted broccolini with garlic. God, my mouth is watering already. We got some stuff that we already chopped up. So what do we got? All right. Oh, wait, hold on. Before you get there. Got it. I got your little handy dandy little dad's that cook oven mitt. You don't want to burn your hand anymore, okay? Awesome. And inside is a knife. The dad's that cook knife. Okay, this is hot. Thank you very much. You're very welcome, absolutely. It's we'll handmade. We'll put that to good use. And whatever you do, you don't stick it in the dishwasher. No dishwasher. I will show up and strangle you. All right. Okay, so sorry. Let's get back to what you got. What do you got here? The parsnips. Looks like a carrot, but they're yeah. white. And when you look at these parsnips, especially when they're bigger, yeah. they have a very fibrous center in here. So mm -hmm. what I tend to do is take that fibrous center out. You can leave it in, but I've just found that the dishes are much creamier and much more enjoyable without, without that. Without that. And then I've got a Japanese sweet potato. Mm -hmm. Again, on the sweet potato, different from the garnet, these are right. a little bit lower in the sugar content, the color's a little bit different. And this is gonna make how many for how many people? This would probably serve uh, 12 to 14 Oh, people. wow. Okay, yeah. so you're making stuff I'm making for stuff. the future as well. And I see some thyme sitting over here. Yep. We're going to throw a little bit of that in Yeah, with it. and so I've you got... you use a whole sprig? Or you no, gonna... I used about 10 or 12 sprigs. I took all the stems off and then I chopped them up. I'll use this for a garnish. All right, so we got all that. Now we're going to throw some stuff in the Instant Pot. So yep. what's the process and what ingredients are you going to throw in there? First thing is I've got a steamer basket. I'm going to put huh. that in, right? Okay. And then I'm just going to mix up the sweet potato and the parsnips. These are gonna go in. All right, so we got a full pot. We're gonna dump the rest of the thyme in. And what I use now is you really only need any, any type of liquid. Water will work. I like sure. that a little bit of flavor. So I'm gonna put a cup of the chicken bone broth in. Right. And since I've got such a large quantity, about another cup of water just so that I get plenty of steam in there. Mm -hmm. That's it. No salt. Salt will tend to make those tough while they're cooking, so we'll yeah. salt them afterwards. Right. We're gonna put it on 10 minutes. Okay. And that's it, we're gonna let it, it's gonna take about 10 or 15 minutes to come up to pressure. Yeah. It's gonna cook for 10 minutes, and then as soon as it's done, I'll mash everything up and it'll be done. So that's awesome, that's working, that's making it stuff. We'll just sit around for a little while. Let it go. <laughs> I like that you actually prepped all this stuff before I got here. Let that be known. All you people that want to be on the show, mm -hmm. prep your stuff before I show up. Be ready to roll? Rock and roll, baby. Let's go. What are we making now? Roasted broccolini okay. with garlic and leeks. Garlic and leeks. Leeks? Leeks. 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 Oh, leeks. That's garlic. What's a leet? I have no idea. Garlic. That's garlic. Garlic. That's garlic. A couple of cloves, two, three, four, depends what you like. That's garlic. Exactly. Exactly. Some Take, people like a little, some people like a lot. Chop it up real fine. You might even mix a little bit of olive oil in it. Get a little bit in there. Yep. Uh, the leek, a uh, little bit different. I usually cut about right here, cut yeah. the end off. Yeah. You make a slit right down the middle. Okay. And then I'm going to slice that into just little slivers. They'll fall apart as they're cooking. Boom. Boom. I usually like a big mixing bowl. Here, I'll switch with you. We're going to grab some olive oil, probably about a tablespoon. And I'm going to mix this up. And my goal is uh, not to get too much olive oil on it. I want them covered. And I use Malden salt. It's Malden a, salt? Malden, M-A-L-D-O-N. It's, oh. it's flaky. You'll look at that, oh. right? Let me try to see. Oh, yeah. It's got bigger flakes to it. So again, you know, I go one on the top, mm -hmm. spin this around a couple of times. I'm going to go another pinch. I'm going to put that garlic in. That's garlic. And then I'm going to put in um, the chopped leeks. So I'm going to spread this around, do one more touch of the olive oil, just so that it kind of coats the bottom, and okay. I do one more little sprinkle of the salt. 
Sprinkle, sprinkle. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Sprinkle, sprinkle. And that's it. And that's going to go into the oven at 425 degrees on roast. So that takes about 10% of the heat, puts okay. it at the top. Okay, done. awesome. Done. That's easy. All you got to do is prep the stuff. That's all you got to do, right? So let's stick it in the oven then. All right, we've had it in here for about 12 minutes. You can see it's starting to brown up a little bit. You don't want them to go soft. We're going to give everything a toss. All right, so your little Instant Pot went off. So now what are we doing here? For this, we go the Instant Method. Uh, you can use your hand, you gotta just wash it. Yeah. This thing is hot. Very hot. You turn it. It's not bad. And we're, is yeah. that how you keep your United <laughs> fresh yeah. little You can get a little bit of a facial if you go in, but, <laughs> but, then, but then you smell like sweet potato and Well, that's okay. okay. Yeah, you know, you're laying in yeah. bed. Honey. That's right, that's right. Yeah. I got some good news and some bad news. <laughs> all right, Instant Pot just finished. It's all done steaming and his face looks a lot better now. I actually need my dad's at cook mitt because you don't thing, want to burn your hand. This thing is hot and we're just going to dump it in. So what I've got here is I've got some olive oil. I've got some ghee butter. Mm -hmm. I've got some salt and I'm going to go to the refrigerator. I'm going to pull out my coconut milk. Coconut milk. Yep. Unsweetened. Unsweetened. Delicious. That's, that's the deal. So That's the deal. Remember, we don't tell my family about this one. Don't tell the family because we're putting <laughs> tea butter in there. A healthy... Tablespoon? -ish. Really a tablespoon. I'm using a teaspoon. We're going to put yeah. that in. Probably about a tablespoon or two of olive oil. A sprinkle of salt. And I'm going to wait to put the coconut milk in because that's going to cool it down. And I want the oils and the fats to actually bind themselves oh, yeah. with the potatoes. You're left-handed? I am left-handed. Oh, that's sad. Thank you, nurse. It's getting kind of well, shiny. It's, it's everyone, hot, yeah, I know. Everyone out there saying, hey, wipe his forehead off. This thing is hot. Okay, so we're gonna put in about a half a cup to that's, start. It's a nice little eyeball. That looked like a quarter of a cup, like a man just saying. You can see now with the coconut milk, so it starts to get that really, really creamy texture. Bango. Bingo, bango, and you got yourself some parsnips smashed up. We've got some shishito, shishito peppers, shishito pepper. right? Yeah. Okay, and we're gonna make those up. First, I gotta tell you, the reason I always have trouble pronouncing this is yeah. this is my son's dish. Your son's dish. And he was originally supposed to be with us here today. Where is he, Tom? Um, he told me he had a couple of things that were super important. Super important, right. Like all 19-year-olds are doing important right things. now. And I know in my heart. Of course, it is I can important. feel it yeah. in my bones that he's doing something extremely important. He always posts on his Instagram story, so I thought I should check what he's doing. All right, let's see. Oh, that looks important. Yeah, it looks really important what he's doing. Oh, uh, it's the Ferrari. Yeah. Yeah, it looks important. Today. Yes, I think this is a, a, a self-study program for college. Is that what it is? Yeah, I'm almost positive. Yeah, okay, great. He is a great cook. My yeah. whole family, we cook together. Super athletic family. We all kiteboard. That's uh, so cool. My son has been a professional kiteboarder over the last year. My daughter is a uh, amazing volleyball player. Right. My wife and I, super athletic. We're all into CrossFit, kiting, running, biking, biking, and the whole thing. You know, that's what it's all about, is having family around. Hey, there's one of the hey. family! Hey. Hi. Hi. Oh, it's sweet Cindy. How are you, man? I'm good. How good are you? See you. Good to see awesome. you. Good to see you, too. Thanks for having us. Well, I can't wait to eat it. Well, the man. Be ready, huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You're normally kind of in here with me doing this thing. I am. Yeah. Yeah, but, but I like it. I like it when he cooks. Yeah, yeah. right? I know, exactly. <laughs> so it's, I it's a lot wait. easier. I'm going to try this later. Uh, okay. you're on, well, hey, see yeah. you. Thanks for stopping by. You're on cleanup duty, just okay. to be clear. Yeah. <laughs> I like they just pass in. Yeah. You know, pass oh, in. Yeah. You, yeah, you pass lied in to food. me when you said they wanted to help out and they really <laughs> exactly. enjoyed being in the kitchen exactly. working, yeah. right? Hey. Can I have some? Uh, okay. What are you guys doing? Uh, my, it's my daughter Sterling. I told hey. you. How's it going, Sterling? Doing the pork chops Good. tonight, the peppers. Your brother was supposed to do those. We'll have that for dinner after your volleyball tryouts. Okay, well, save me some. I will do. Thank you, baby. Aw, isn't that sweet? She's All as right, tall see as me. <laughs> Amazing. She's so tall. I know. I know. So we've got the pan. It's been on for about five or six minutes. We're gonna get it pretty hot. We're gonna add in my normal measurement, a couple tablespoons. A couple eyeballs. Yep, a couple eyeballs couple on that. A couple eyeballs of olive oil. You need right. that. We're gonna throw the peppers in. Okay. Oh yeah, sizzle. Wow. We're gonna put a little of the Maldon salt in. Yeah. Now these are simply. And uh, thanks to Hayden for not coming and making them. Yeah. Yeah, 
I mean, they're probably going to be better, to be honest with you. Yeah, they probably are. I yeah. Mean. All right, so we got some lemon cut up. Yep. What's happening with that? Little lemon cut up. We're going to take a lemon squeezer. I cut the end off yeah, just to I make it that. fit a little bit better. Oh, okay. They might squirt all over your face. No? No. No? Wow. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Likey, I like it. All right, Tom. What are we making next? I was thinking some pork chops. I like meat. <laughs> I like your meat. So good. So uh, good. This is a family channel. That's a big hunk of meat you got That's there, Tom. a big Tom. hunk of meat. All right, here's what we got, guys. <laughs> so these are pork loin chops. They're massive. They're massive. They're double cuts. So we That's got some meat here, Tom, is what you're saying. And you got a lot of it. <laughs> so we're going to put a little bit of salt on both sides. We're going to put a little bit of pepper. Mm -hmm. You're gonna flip those bad boys over? Yep, we're gonna do a quick flip. And we got some um, stuff hiding over here too. Looks like yeah. you're gonna make a little sauce and a right. marinara. Yeah, so over to my side. So what I've got is Marion Blackberry. Marion so Blackberry. Preserve. So it's a half cup, but since I got such big ones, I want a little extra sauce. So pretty, okay. It's a pretty liberal half cup. Okay. So we want about three tablespoons, right? So we're gonna go one of Dijon, of Dijon and we're just gonna mix this up. We're gonna let the pork chops sit for about 10, 15 minutes or so with the salt on them. And uh, then we're gonna throw them in the pan and cook them up. Using a steel pan like a cast iron, it's either, some people call it blue steel, spun steel. It's really hot. Smoking hot. Now because it's so hot and we're gonna be cooking at a really, really hot temperature for this, I'm gonna use avocado oil. Okay. So we're gonna do a nice generous pour in here. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put these things in pretty carefully. Will they fit? Yeah, they're gonna oh, fit. Oh man, get that guy in there. He wants to go to the party. Wow, look at that. All right, so these chops have been cooking, and we already flipped them. Now what, what's happening now? Okay, so now the idea is to let this pan cool off a little bit. So we're gonna pull it off. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cover them in this sauce, right? Yeah, that looks good. And now we're gonna cover them. We're gonna go 10 minutes on one side, we're gonna flip them. And our goal here is to get them rare to medium rare. It is okay to eat pork. Of course. Rare to medium rare. Then we're gonna let the pork chop sit and we're gonna show you a little bit on how to make the sauce for it. Great, and then we'll uh, make the sauce and then we'll slice it up and we'll eat it. All right, so while the uh, meat is over there having its happy time in right. the pan, we've got our bottle that we went down and picked up, right? We're way down in the dungeons so right. open this bad boy up. I think we'll do a quick uh, opening on it. Just let it breathe a little bit, Tom. That's the plan. You know? All right. Got to hope the cork, this thing works. Ah, look at that. Bingo, bango. That was easy. That one's easy. Hey, guys. Hey, Lulu. What you doing? I heard a wine was being opened. <laughs> that's, that's, uh, See, that's usually my calling card. You know, Pavlov Pretty did much. some studying on yeah. that. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. 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 She hears a cork and she comes running. Okay. Exactly. That's oh, Pavlov yeah. all over the place. Exactly. All right. Well, I'll let you guys finish up. And as soon as the wine's ready, oh, you know, yeah, just we'll let Exactly. Know. Exactly. That's <laughs> right. the plan. All right. I'll be back. <laughs> okay. See you. Ciao, ciao. Bye-bye now. Ready to pull. Pull it. My take on this is I'd always rather pull them a little bit sooner yeah. than not. They're going to keep cooking. All right, we've been cooking all day, and now we've got some sauce to make, right? Because I got the pork chop sitting, resting, relaxing, but we got the sauce in there. Now what's the plan? Okay, so here's the plan. So I've, I'm going to take any of the juices that came out of this thing. You can see oh, how much wow, is yeah. pouring out of that, right? Yeah. So we're going to add that back in. I'm going to add one teaspoon of a champagne vinegar. Okay. And okay. then I'm going to add probably about a third of a cup of that chicken bone broth. Okay. Just to give it a little bit more volume. And the plan here is to reduce this down by about a third. So we're just going to let this now reduce down. So the whole time on here, you know, wow. was probably under five minutes. I got a little extra in the spoon still. We're done. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? It really is good.
So I'm thinking these things should be uh, God, in pretty good these. shape. Look at these. These are beautiful. Yeah. Did these are massive hunks of meat. So let's take a look. So there is a little bit of a layer of fat on the outside. Yeah. We tend to be okay with that, but we're going to take a look at how these things have come out. That looks nice. So as we go in, I could have cooked these just a little bit less. Oh, that looks like it needs to be eaten. Oh, look at that. I got the sauce. That's good. I think you should make that bottle popping noise and, oh. and check with uh, check with our producer. <laughs> Is the line ready yet? <laughs> oh, crap. Told you. I have tried everything on this so far. Hey, the women are showing up. Check it out. That's because the food's out. In. Yeah, That's sure you the are. Food's up. Hey, she's already got her wine in her hand. Look at these. Oh, yeah. Cheers sure. to dads that cook. This is awesome. Yeah. I know, right? To uh, awesome. Chef Tom over here whipping Cheers. up some killer food. This is amazing, and it's not hard to make. You can tell it's not hard to make, but it's so tasty. The sauce is incredible. The, the meat has this, just the flavor, the way it's cut nice and thin, and the parsnips and potatoes are to die for. And these broccolinis are so easy to cook. And we All get easy. to eat it, right? And we get to eat I'm it so right excited. now. Having us here today. Rockin and on, uh, too bad, Hayden, you missed out. <laughs> Dad's that cook, man. Dad's that cook. Dad's that cook. So we'll see you next time on Dad's That Cook. Hey, thanks for watching. You wanna see more cool videos like this one on Dad's That Cook? Make sure you subscribe. You wanna win some really cool stuff? Subscribe. You wanna get notified? Make sure you know what's going on? Subscribe. <laughs>